Graflin. I'm so happy to be on this show called Living the Classical Life. And I look forward to our discussion. I don't like the music, Stephen. Oh, yeah, I don't like the music. Come on. What's the number of eight? Mr. Grafman, it's such a delight to welcome you onto our show. Thank you so much for being part of our project and also for welcoming us into your beautiful home. Well, I'm very happy to be with you. Having seen all the changes in the music world that you have, what does it take today to foster a first-rate talent as a well-rounded artist? First-rate talent should be discovered early, and that's the most important thing. Uh, in other words, people who, let's say, had no background at all, like at the age of 16, 17, something, uh, Beethoven symphony, uh, whatever, and gets and start getting interested, say, oh yeah, I want to learn the violin or piano or what, what have you. It's like, a, I'm told, a tennis player has to be developed early. It's most What's the bubble bee? Okay. Uh, look at There are certain, a uh, doctor could explain it, um, muscle coordination or, you know, God knows what, um, that you do automatically. Uh, so, you start early with your talent. Now, now, then what do you need? You need a teacher. Somebody famous. It's, it's somebody famous. Each case is different, and uh, you need uh, uh, parental support. But not too much. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know you that's what you need to check. Make them practice ten hours a day. Yes. Uh, Okay, what's the bubble 